Hello, I'm Philip Molina and I'm running for Oxnard City Treasurer. And I'd like to give you a little bit of my background to explain why I feel that I'm qualified for the position of City Treasurer. I have a Master's in Business Administration. I'm a Certified Public Accountant and I'm a Court Certified Mediator. I belong to the California CPA Society and to the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. In terms of work experience, I have over 25 years working for four cities, all in the state of California. In those cities, I functioned as the city treasurer, the chief financial officer, the finance director, the administrative officer, and I even served as an interim city manager. At the state level, I functioned as an auditor for the State Department of Public Health and for the State Department of Insurance. I served in the United States Army. I graduated from Officer Candidate School as a second lieutenant. I received an honorable discharge. I have managed hundreds of millions of dollars of investments over those 25 years. I've always performed better than the state investment pool. I never lost a dollar of principal. And I managed the LA Department of Children and Family Services budget, which was a $1,700,000,000 budget. Why am I running at this time? The city recently received an audit report and those audit findings included the following, which are very disturbing. Finding number 024 identified that the city staff is still not reconciling their cash account. Finding number 025 identified that bank accounts are being opened without the city treasurer's knowledge. That leads us to the question is who is controlling who opens the bank accounts and how many bank accounts are in fact opened at this time. Finding number 030 from the auditor identified that checks are being issued out of sequence. And that's very disturbing for an accountant and an auditor because you want to see checks issued in a normal sequence. Finding number 032 from the auditor is that the treasurer did not review the supporting documents before signing the electronic fund transfers, which are wire transfers, or even signing the checks. So we have to also look at the last finding is 034 that I want to bring to your attention. And that's where the treasurer does not have a list of the people who are authorized to do the wire transfers. And we all know that if you don't have control over who's issuing those wire transfers, you are in serious trouble. I've explained to you my professional background. I've identified my professional credentials. I'm Philip Molina. I'm running for this office of city treasurer and I ask for your vote because I think we need someone qualified like myself in that position at this time. Thank you.